guys, it's Imagineer Tycoon here, and today we are going to do a Let's Play on Sid Meier's Railroad. It's one of my all-time favorite games. So, what we're going to do is a single-player train table mode, which basically allows you to do everything for free. It's like Sandbox Mode or Tycoon 3. Um, I just absolutely love this game. I mean, look at these graphics, and this is just a menu, mind you. And uh, I think after this, yeah, I think you saw it earlier, they have the little Santa Fe engine that comes through. Yep, there it is. Just whizzes by. Okay, so we're going to go to single player. I mean, multiplayer doesn't work anymore. They have no network for it. It stinks. The LAN, you can, I guess you can do it. I don't know. I haven't tried it. I might. Um, but we're going to go single player. And we're going to do the Midwest. There's Southwest. Northeast, Midwest, Northwest, and Great Britain, France, and Germany. And then you have your custom multiplayer maps. But we're going to stick to the Midwest. And you can change it to Investor, which get, you can see it gets the shares of stock and everything. But um, we're going to do train table mode because it's more simple. It's simpler. Um, I mean, if you have it set to like Investor, you can do different AI players. So you have competition, and there's different goals you can achieve. So it's pretty nice. But we'll stick with train table, and there's no event conditions. So you have no goals apart from do stuff. So that's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. And the scenario covers the Midwest, United States, an area stretching from Chicago in the west to Pittsburgh in the east. It covers the time period 1840 to 1970. The scenario includes a number of difficult tasks to complete and is not recommended for beginners. Well, considering that we're on the simplest mode, which is train table mode, you get his unlimited money. We're pretty much beginners anyway, so it's not going to matter. I want to talk to you guys about routing, though. If you tend to get this game and you're a beginner, easy is the place you want to go. The trains will keep moving, and if another train is blocking the way, the train with the highest priority will move unheated, meaning the one with the higher priority is going to go before the one with the lower priority. Meaning if it's a passenger train, that is a higher priority. That's going to get the right away. If it's a freight train, it's have a lower priority. That's going to get the less right away, and the passenger train will literally move right through it. Basically, ghost trains. Now, that's if you're just starting the game. Medium is trains will stop if there are any other trains blocking the way to their destination. Meaning, if there's a train on the same track as another train and they're headed in opposite directions they're gonna stop but if they wait too long one train will pass through the other but if you put like sidings and switches down then you don't have to worry about it because the trains will take different sidings depending on where the other trains are now on hard you have to have sidings if you don't have sidings the trains will stop and they will not move unless there's another route so technically if it gets stuck there and you have no way of maneuvering the trains, you're pretty much screwed. So it kind of stinks. So I like to keep it on medium because just in case I forget to put a siding down, it's always going to give me the option to have them move through each other if I happen to forget. So we're going to go ahead and start. These are nice little screens. They tell you about the different tycoons and everything. Like different things like Jim Hill. They have uh, a ton of other ones that did like the Empire Tycoons with the railroads and everything. And it just gives you things. Sometimes they'll show you a patent before the game actually loads. So here we are. Starting in Cincinnati, which is nice because then we can go up from Cincinnati to Indianapolis. Up to Chicago. And then we can do the little intermediate things in between. Um, so right now I'm going to go over like the little pros and cons of this game just in case you want to like possibly buy it or anything. Um, what's nice about it is that the graphics are wonderful for being such a cheap game. Considering if you're on, like, Steam or any download site, it's about 15 bucks, and you're getting this quality. I mean, the water looks great, the reflections are nice, they did great with the landscaping. Um, if you go to a lake, the coastline, it, it's pretty much SimCity in the way that the water is really nice. Um... The only problem is the zoom. You can only zoom out and zoom in to a certain type, unless, like, it's not type, but to a certain distance. Like, um, I'm fully zoomed right now, so it's cute, because they, <laughs> I know cute, but it's nice because they have little clouds and everything, and they move and everything. Uh, 
you can zoom in, but it's only to about here. The trees look nice and everything. But we're going to go hard ahead and start building because that's mainly what we're here to do, right? So we're going to start with a lay track, and we're just going to lay a simple track here. Um, and then we're going to continue on to Indianapolis. From there, we're going to get the green arrows. And we're just going to pull it right up onto the edge here. And we'll put the depot right here. And since we have unlimited money, we're just going to upgrade it all the way to a terminal. Okay, and now we're going to save it, just to be safe. And we're going to call this Let's Play Scenario. Okay, so we'll save that. And I'm going to save it pretty often, because the game is strange in that this the up it depends on what what version you have sometimes it'll crash and it'll kick you to the home screen and you want to have everything saved just in case that happens um, so every time you do something major like connect a huge bit of track or you add a train change its route you always should save it even if you don't have this issue just in case you should do it so we're gonna add a train from Cincinnati to Indianapolis um, and we're gonna change this because depending on how fast you go like, near certain cities depends on, like, whether they name it or not. I don't know why, it's just how the game runs. So we're going to start with something smaller, so that as we upgrade, we can name more trains. So we're going to select this one. And the priority is going to be high, because this will be a passenger route. We're going to add four passenger cars and one mail car. And we're going to go over to here, and then we're going to lose one passenger car, just for the sake of having that. You're going to close it. It's high priority, so we're going to say OK to confirm the route. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the paint just to make it look a little bit better, customize it more. And that red looks good. So let's change the logo to how about that? That looks good. We'll apply that. Now what we can do is we can go to Indianapolis and see what they demand. They demand passengers, mail, so they demand passengers, mail, food, uh, goods, like manufactured goods, coal, and oil. Um, oil's right here, so, oh, see? New speed record, 56 miles per hour near Cincinnati Terminal. So now it's the Cincinnati Comet. So we'll keep it like that because it's a nice name. And they demand oil. So we'll get the oil from right here. That's a nice way to go. So we'll take this and we'll add a double track to it. Not on that side though because we're going to need to expand off of that side to make other tracks later. So we'll put it here. And we're going to take it off this end piece and go all the way down to the oil area. Once you get here, you click Depot, and you hit Annex. That is going to give you the oil. Now you're going to make a train from this place. Add as many cars as you want. Wait until full. I think I'll add another car to that. And then we'll put it here. And once it gets here, just for the sake of having it get to where you want here to fill up more, you're going to take these off, because they're not going to fill up back at the city. And we're going to change to a simple little freight engine, the mogul, that'll be good, because it's 50 miles per hour, and the priority can be low, because there's nothing that's really in the way, and oil can't complain that the time's not running right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go find that other train, and you're going to have to apply the paint once more to get this train to have that paint color. I don't know why it is, that's just how the game runs, it's fine, it's not that hard. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go save it again, let's play scenario, just in case. Okay, so that'll be good. And what I think we'll do is we'll go up for this episode, we'll go up to Chicago, and we'll connect it to its little things that it needs. Let's see, what do they demand? They demand oil, and they have oil right here, so we can always just add a, a little spur onto that. Um, let's see, what does Cincinnati demand? 
they demand coal, which is right here. So this is going to be nice and easy. We're just going to add a little spur track here. And then from here, it's just going to go straight over to this coal area. Like so. And here, you're going to do the same with the annex. And this train is super small. So we're not even going to need the mogul. But we'll keep it there just for the sake of having it. Keeping everything fluent. And then we'll keep these at four. And we'll drop them off here. Do the same thing we did. And this is definitely low priority. So we'll hit OK. Now we're going to have to find that train again. Here. And we have to apply the paint once more. Which is fine. That's all it needs. And there you go. Have it. This will give you the coal this needs to process anything and to help their power plant run, which is definitely needed. They also need oil, so we could come off of this end. What I think I'll do is right here, I'll make a little extension to come out to here. Now what this will do is I can add this. Now what we'll do is we'll take this train here that's giving us our coal, and we'll edify its edify. Wow. We will modify their route. Take Cincinnati off. So we'll delete it. And we'll go to the energy company. And we'll take oil. And then we'll come back and unload everything. That way we get the oil and coal in one run. Therefore we don't have to have more than one track. So this, now that it's two places, we'll up it to normal. So this should be good. We'll, we'll let it run a little bit. So it can go collect its things. So we'll watch this. What it's going to do is it's going to collect the coal that's needed. We'll let this run to get, get everything it needs. And now it's going to go straight through Cincinnati to the oil place where we'll get our oil. And it has eight ready. So we only have two, so that's no big deal. So you saw it turn around. Now those cars are cool. Here come the oil tankers. They'll get filled up and they'll go straight into Cincinnati where they will be unloaded and you'll see these get dark when they're unloaded See, now they'll take the cars off and they'll head straight back to the other coal place we're gonna save it once more okay so now we're going to make our extension up to Chicago so that we have enough passenger service to get our railroad kick started because we need a ton of routes. Right now we only have two cities really connected. So with this third junction it will really help out. Okay, so now that I did that I'm going to save it again. Like I said, whenever you have like a big piece of something that you do, like track, industry, whatever, you need to get that done. That will definitely improve what you do. Um, we'll definitely upgrade this. Okay, and with this train, um, as you can see, we'll make a train that comes from here and we'll probably connect to these cities up to here. Or we'll have this train shoot straight up because it is a short connection. So we're going to go find that other train that connected these cities. And we're going to change its consist. And it's not just going to end here. We're going to keep adding this car back on and we're going to go straight through Chicago. Here we'll add on another mail car and then it'll make its way back to Cincinnati. So that's what we needed there. So that's all set up. Now we'll see what Chicago needs for supplies. Do they need coal? If they don't need coal, it's going to stink. And they don't, as of right now. But, let's see. Well, we could have them make steel, which would mean that they would need coal. So let's build a steel place, and we'll do this. Therefore, we can come over here and use utilize this steel, not steel, but coal place. Here we go. And now that that's working, let's get this train here. And we'll go Lafayette Mill. Four. Wait till full. To here. And then we'll unload these cars. This priority is going to be low. And we're definitely changing this to the mogul. Okay. So this should be running great. Now what we need to do is again change the paint so that everything is in sync and that's perfect. So now that we have that done, I think we have everything connected as far as I'm concerned. And it looks like we do. So 
we'll go out and I'll look at further expansion. Now, in the next part, we will definitely be taking this up to Pittsburgh. And this will probably come down to here. And then we might extend this down to the, these cities. If not, then we'll just do this. But look forward to another episode, because this is definitely a series that I'm going to continue. Not all of them are going to be uh, sandbox or train table mode, what have you. But we will definitely do more of like a scenario play with like accomplishments and things that goals that you have to achieve. But for now, this is just a fun start to it. Um, if you like this series, like, subscribe, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.